What's happening guys? Welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. So as I promised in the last episode, we are indeed going to go see a show for the first time and uh, there's a man over here preaching about his new religion. Let's check that out. But we are going to go see a show. I believe it's going to involve Mr. Potato Head, the short fellow, the magician, and uh, the crazy lady. I, at least I hope so. If not, it's still going to be kind of fun. And then we'll do a proper mission. Howdy there, sir. Have you got a new religion? I'm all about religion. Yeah, I don't know what that voice is. Hey, partner. Hello, sir. Can I interest you in Chelonianism? Uh, I don't know. Chelonia what? Can you? Well, I hope so. It is a fascinating religion that was taught to a very wise master about a hundred years ago in a land not very far from here. And who's this master? Take a book, please. You... Oh, a pamphlet. I was about to say an entire book. That's it? One page? Okay. <laughs> You've made a wonderful choice. It is a religion of safety. A religion made by gods who understood what life is. Not what life could be, but what it is. Right. And it is very dangerous. Hmm. But with Chelonianism, it can be safe. Hmm. Well, it's all in this book. Uh, am I boring you? Yeah, a little, a little bit. I'm sorry. Oh my god! <laughs> Have a wonderful day. His religion's real! It allows me to communicate through the mouth of Arthur Morgan. Uh, listen, is your religion Chelonianism? I don't know where you got that name, but it is not gonna catch on. I'm sorry, you gotta have a hot Jeez. name for religion, you know, it's like kind of Hinduism, Christianity. Overnight. You can't call I it Chelonianism. I, I can't even say the word. Day, but, uh, you? does your religion dictate you have to wear that ridiculous bow tie? Is that even a bow tie? I don't know what you would call that. You look like Colonel Sanders of KFC, the chicken. Understand. Yeah. How do I check the pamphlet Chelonia, I just got? Oh, America. Okay, let's put the gun away the before I get into thing. more trouble. I if swear, poor San Denis. This place has been abused so many times over by your boy. It's just not good. How do I check my inventory? I want to see that pamphlet he gave me. Chelonian handbill. Can't be that good of a religion if it's only a hundred years old, right? Ah. What is this? It is humbly hoped that every impartial reader will take these messages to heart and uh, okay i'm sorry uh if your religion requires me to read then i'm gonna have to pass hard on that one couldn't you have like a fun religion where you just eat a bunch of cookies and uh have you know tons of sex that'd be way better that's got to be a fetish out there somewhere cookies and sex together either way uh now that we're done with that hocus pocus religion let's go check out this show Ooh, the theater vaudeville Ooh, vaudeville. Now, what type of shows do they have in here? I'm a man of distinguished taste. I'm here to catch me a show. Is it, uh, what do they call them? Dance hall girls? Yes? Uh, Miss Marjorie. Hey, uh, the performers asked me to come see them here. Uh, help them out with something up in Van Horn. All right, I'll let them know you're in. Curtain's just about to come up, so... Why don't you take a seat, then come back and see me after the show? <laughs> all right. All right, all right. Don't mind if I do. Oh, this is a very fancy place. Very nice indeed. Oh, my. See, I told you, I needed a new outfit. There's no way your boy could come in here and watch a fancy show with the old clothing I had on from before. Oh, they even have a bar? But where's the, where's the, seriously? No, no bartender. Hmm. This is not a very fancy place if there's no bartender. Oh! Oh, this is a proper theater. Oh my. Hello! Oh. Yes! Got a good thank seat. You, thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome, welcome everyone. I am your host, Aldridge T. Abington. Thank you. Woo! Great yes, name, Geek Aldridge Boy! T. Abington. Few men. I've had a career more crowded with incident and various intercourse Oh, I can antagonize him? Then I. Uh, <laughs> during extensive travel through this and foreign lands. It's I a real show. A show oh, this is so cool. So fantastical. There exists nothing like it. Anyway. Hmm. I think I want to get up closer. Hold up. In an effort to bring this entertainment to even Excuse me. the Excuse poorest me. Pardon dreamer me. of dreams. Pardon me. I have determined the ticket price should be very low and the show held without a profit 
to me, it's true. Right. For it is blessing enough to bring these gifted artists to you. Gifted artists? Okay, all right, let's cheer. I met these odd fellows in a tavern in some godforsaken place, entertaining cretins. They're quite a capricious bunch, presenting Miss Marjorie and her medical miracles. Big word. I like your suit. Can I kill you and take it? I would look very fancy indeed with one of those on. Ah, there she is. Oh, damn. Woo, she's got a whip. Watch out. Well, this crowd, the energy. Mr. Potato Head! I beat him up and then we're friends, somehow. Ah, oh, poor guy. What is that outfit? <laughs> he ain't even as smart as he looks. <laughs> but what he lacks in brain, he makes up for in brawn. Oh, yes, I believe it. Hercules is as strong as a bull. You, sir, would you assist? Oh. Come on up. I thought she was calling my name. <laughs> Arthur. like a strapping young lad. I want you to hit him. Right here, right in the oh. bread basket. Go oh, I saw my stop. I don't know. Yeah, go ahead, coward. Breaking your arm. What are you afraid of? This guy's scared. Punched Mr. Potato Head. Oh! Oh, the back shot when he wasn't looking. That is dirty. Oh! Oh! He's gonna crush his head in. Now this is the type of show I paid for. Sometimes he gets carried away. What kind of a two-bit show is this? Your freak nearly killed me. Freak! Oh, he got him by the seat of his pants. Oh! Your lady cracked the whip. What is that outfit? That is the geekiest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I don't know how much the ticket was, but it's well worth it. There he is! The vertically challenged man. The magnificent, the magnificent. And I have tamed the beast. Drop him! Oh! Ooh, gravity is a bitch. Look at this guy, he's shaking. Ladies and gentlemen, I, Magnifico the Magnificent, I'm a master of apparition. Oh my God! Where did the chicken come from? His butt, probably. Okay, he has real magic. What the hell? The art of transfiguration. Probably comes from Hogwarts. Hogwarts? I have. Listen to the crowd in the background. Hypnosis. Telekinesis, telepathy, Ooh. and escapology. Quite the resume. And now, for my next feat, I will relieve Miss Marjorie of her for Say what? Oh! Okay. What are you doing, you nasty little person? <laughs> <laughs> oh! We were gonna give them a show. Disrobio. I give up. Hey, hey, where are you going, little fellow? Come on. Disrobio the rest of her clothing. Go follow your brother. <laughs> He's still passed out. Center stage. What a coward. Thanks, <laughs> Okay, well then, that was a interesting show. Slightly more fun than watching Dutch come up with a plan. Still nothing uh, too amazing. Too bad we didn't get to see the boobies. Oh, here he is, Geek Boy. Tiny people and tiny-headed giants, curious things. They are a delight and can make you money. So, before you snuff out that oddly-shaped baby, bring them to me. That is so dark, oh my God. I discovered <laughs> this next act in a tiny village in Italy. Oh. Truly 
the most exotic of places in the world. He was just a 10-year-old boy. I raised him. I bathed him. I shaved him from head to toe. He is truly a wonder to behold, presenting Benjamin Lazarus. What are these names? Lazarus? Oh, he's confused. Hmm. I do love a live performance. Welcome to my incredible display of dark arts and mystical prowess, my dear ladies and gentlemen. Now, it's unfortunate fact that in this mortal coil we are all born to suffer from all manner of maladies in daily life. Who here has not had a friend or loved one near death's door from coal gas fumes, typhoid fever, diphtheria, or the bite of a rabid animal? Or shooting them, because I do that. Wealth is your health. All the gold in the world cannot purchase it, and yet it is the most delicate and tenuous of all life's gifts. And nothing knocks down death's door faster. Oh, he's got a gun! What a badass. A man cannot outrun a bullet. Many fools have tried and failed in this endeavor, including the tonic salesman I caught betting my wife. Oh, saucy. I joke. I joke. I, I assure you, he has met his maker and they are playing gin rummy among the molten lava of Hades. I have traveled all around the world, this delighting young and old, with all manner of feats of amazement, but none are as dangerous as what I am prepared to attempt. Is he gonna try and catch a bullet? I will hand this Didi Packenbush revolver over to my assistant and stand at considerable distance across the stage. She will point the revolver at my head and pull the trigger using lightning quick reflexes taught to me by a tiny man I met in the distant orient. I will catch the bullet. Oh, sure you will. Oh, with his yes. teeth! My teeth. Oh, I gotta see this! That these are indeed live rounds. If my sharpshooting assistant would be so kind as to shoot this bottle of Lalicola off my head. This is insane. You know, I'd rather listen to the crowd in the background. I love it. <laughs> uh, let me take a shot. I'll make sure it doesn't miss. A bullet in the brain right now. Oh, what's gonna happen? Oh! Nicely done. Definitely a real bullet. For sure not full of blanks, no. Now, observe. As I, the great Benjamin Lazarus, will do what no man has ever done and cheat death as if it were nothing. Oh, I gotta see this. It's time to cheer. Oh, he's already done with this one. <laughs> Arthur, calm down, have patience. Oh, this is so BS. No way he catches the bullet. Is he, is he dead? Oh, please. Do you think that I'm an idiot? Do you think I was born yesterday? I'm gonna antagonize him. <laughs> Trash! Pathetic! You guys buying this? Are you guys buying this? Look at him. They actually believe it's real. What is her outfit? You're pulling my leg. Oh. This is a bunch of dang balderdash. Balderdash. <laughs> Bold words. Ah. And Benjamin Lazarus. I assure you, I am not participating in I'm some sorry. <laughs> hoax or carnival rules. These bullets are 100% real. In fact, sure. I challenge any member Ooh. of the audience to come forward with their own firearm. Oh. And I will yet again display my uncanny skill to catch a bullet in my Did teeth. Oh, oh, me, 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 me. Pick me, pick me. I've got a gun. I've got a gun. Pick me, pick me, pick me. Here, I'm going to get up. I'll do it. I'll do it. Someone stand up and take a shot. I'll do it. Fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, thank you. I will prove to you I am the greatest entertainer to ever live and the only man who laughs at death. Mmm. Ready? Okay, okay. 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 And fire. 
Oh, what? Did I shoot him in the mouth? What? Oh, my God. Ladies and gentlemen, that is just an illusion. After Incredible. Okay, I'm a believer. I'm a believer. Ladies and gentlemen, it's real. It's real. I'll be goddamned. I thought it was fake. I thought it was fake, but he caught the bullet. Or I just missed. That's probably more likely. Hmm. Now, how did he do that? Clearly, he's, he's using dark magical powers. <laughs> yes. Yes. Truly a feat of incredibility. I told you that boy would bring you all manner of personal satisfaction. He yeah. certainly does me. Ah, uh, that <laughs> now, sounds really I wrong. This next remarkable woman in the lost jungle, <laughs> deep in the wilds of Colombia, where they oh. do not wear clothes. Oh. She all breathes right. fire. Yes. Oh, a fire she breather. Does. And for those with the universal and not unworthy curiosity, yes, I can attest, she does emit fire from almost every orifice in her body. Ah, uh, <laughs> and how do you know this? Antoinette San Servino. I'm guessing uh, she farts fire. <laughs> Is that what he was implying? <laughs> oh, hello, hello. Just the type of show Arthur's here for. That's it, Arthur? A clap? Seriously? Wow, this is really in-depth. I had no idea the show was this uh, involved. Again, I'm so impressed with this game. So much uh, just random stuff that happens that has nothing to do with the story, but really makes the world feel alive. Of course, you have to have the dancing, right? It's not an exotic jungle dancer without all of this. Oh, there, there she goes. She's eating fire. Incredible. My mind is blown. I'm sure back in the day, going to a show like this would have been amazing. Pre-television, of course. When you had a life expectancy of 35, this was all you had to look forward to. Simple-minded people. She sure is <laughs> All right, Arthur, keep it in your pants, buddy boy. The single drum in the background really adds a lot of drama. Now, is she going to stand in a pot of fire or is she just going to breathe fire? I'm guessing she's only going to breathe fire. Where's the breathing? I want to see fire emit from other orifices. Hmm. Can you make that happen? Where's the little uh, magical short fellow when you need him? What do you, what do you call it again? Undr no, dre Andresioso? I don't know what he said, but he needs to do that. Make some things disappear. I like hot things too. <laughs> okay, Arthur. <laughs> Calm down, buddy boy. That's actually kind of cool. Although they could have better music for the background, I'm not going to lie. It's a little bit boring. Oh, what's that? It's a bottle of gasoline. Or is it? Nope, she was just thirsty. <laughs> I'm sure it's the fuel, right? Yep, there it is. All right. Yeah, fire lady. Fire lady. What a great name. Look at this crowd. Oh, man, they're just blown away by this. That's right, a bunch of simpletons. You really haven't seen much, have you guys? This is probably the most exciting thing you're gonna, you're ever gonna see in your entire life before you die a terrible death from typhoid fever. Or being run over by a wagon or something like that. <laughs> oh, 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 here we go, here we go. Something big's about to happen. She's gonna fart fire. Oh! Okay. I think Arthur's a uh, pyromaniac, just a little bit. going in for seconds. She's really hungry. Damn, she can eat fire. Okay. Impressive. I'm still not so sure about that guy that could catch a bullet with his teeth. There's something happening there. That's fishy. There's no way. Incredible. It's still hot in here, huh? <laughs> Incredible. Bravo. Though I must warn you, court her at your peril. 
shall not nurse babies should turn them into bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. He liked that joke. Yes. No, no, I did not. I ah. discovered this next woman in the kingdom of Poland, Ooh. where she sang by the roadside, subsisting on coppers tossed at her feet. Miss Robin Koninsky. Oh, what a name. So she's a singer. Oh. All the instruments you need. A little bit of bass. Whatever the hell that is. A, a, a piano. That, that's a terrible looking piano. And some drums. I'm sure this is going to be magnificent. Mm. Hello. Thanks for joining us today. This here was a new song about a so-called modern improvement you may have become aware of called the telephone. The tell what? This new machine will carry a facsimile of your voice from Blackwater to Valentine to San Denis. No. And they propose to distribute them to all manner of places so that no matter where you are, somebody is looking for you. A wise man prayed that one day we may all eventually be gathered together in a heaven of everlasting rest and peace and bliss. Except for the inventor of the telephone. Because someone is always calling, saying, Hello! Hello! <laughs> I love the detail of the crowd, like, chiming in. It's awesome. About a little baby, but he's out oh. of sight. I talk to him across Hey, this is kind of peppy, I'm not gonna lie. I think I know what this song I is. Can't see my honey, but he's mine, all right. This gal just can't hey, she's got a voice on her. Sorry, I just can't help it. Oh yeah, I know what this song is. It's kind of sad because my parents forced me to watch black and white movies from 100,000 years ago when I was growing up. The telephone. Ooh. Oh, the band is tearing it up. Careful, that stage might catch fire. I'm sorry, I can't help it. Hello? Your wife from Blackwater calling. Hello? This morning through the phone they said he'd been with Bess and told me exactly where he's at. Scandalous. Imagine listening to a song about the telephone. Hey! Crowd's going wild, except they're not. Where's all the applause coming from? There's only like four people clapping. I wish I could just cheer, or clap, rather. <laughs> Sword swallower. Hey! Okay, that was a lot better than the Misfits from the very beginning of the show. You guys should have saved them for last. Oh, damn. Look at that, a standing ovation, or ovation, whatever the word is. Everyone's standing and clapping. Fantastic. This is probably the most fun Arthur's ever had in his entire life. Hot, fire-breathing women. Misfits, magical short people, amazing singers, singing oh, about the telephone. Oh, oh. Mm. What a fine tune. She is a siren, singing from the rocks as men bash into them to their doom. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> so it's Thank drama. Thank you for joining me for tonight's entertainment. I hope it has delayed for at least a moment the crushing and remorseless misery of this mortal coil. Good night, dream well, and come back soon. Hey, okay. Well, that distracted Arthur for a few minutes. Got my new fancy clothing on, growing my beard out. Oh, by the way, where, what happened to my beard? Is it my beard any longer? 
Mm. Oh, wow, the crowd just died down. Can you imagine going to a theater to see that? Except the inside looks like a freaking palace. I mean, look at this place. That is incredible. At one point, going to a theater, I'm sure, was the equivalent of, I don't even know, going on a cruise. Like, one of the most amazing experiences you can have. People, the show is over. You can leave now. Or uh, just stay here. That's fine, too. Okay. Yeah, but again, I'm sure going to a theater would be, like, the most amazing thing you've ever seen in your entire life before you die at 35. Again, because life expectancy was so short back then. Mm. All right, Arthur, it's been a, uh, a fruitful day. You had yourself a real fun time. Now, just to cap everything off with a nice shot of whiskey. Hello? H Hello, goddammit! I want a drink! Mmm, okay then. Guess a man can't cool himself off with a nice shot of whiskey after seeing some hot fire breathers? No? Uh, I think the guy said to talk to him after the show. See, that's what I love about this game. That was such a small thing to put into the game, but it added, it, it just added so much character. It really developed the world in a way that... Quite something. Yeah, I gotta go deal with this. Oh, there's something here for you. Oh, good luck. These novelty acts. Don't get this with dancing girls. Hmm. But it was such a small thing, but it added so much character and development to the game. It really made it feel alive. I kind of feel bad for Miss Marjorie, though. We came to see her show, specifically her act, rather, and uh, it ended. <laughs> with the poor man peeing himself on stage. At least I imagine he peed himself. Uh, what do we have here? Oh, a thank you note. Well, I mean, you don't have to thank me. What a lovely surprise. It is so sweet of you to come and see the show. Bless. I hope it is a, uh, okay, audience, terrible here, boys. Hmm. All right, well, if you want to read that, go ahead. I mean, I don't, I'm not sure why she was thanking us. I mean, honestly, her, her act was terrible. I mean, what can you expect? There are a bunch of misfits on the stage. Now, the funny part was definitely the little short guy making her top disappear. If only he had stuck around for the fire breather. Mm. I might have to give this place one out of five stars, unfortunately. All right, well, that was a great beginning of uh, today's episode. We got to see a show. Again, I'm so impressed with the amount of detail in this game. I am blown away by it. You can't tell me games aren't getting better. This world just seems so alive and rich and colorful. Okay. Uh, now I think let's do a main story mission. So what do we have? Obviously, I'm wanted dead or alive in Saint Denis, but... Ooh, Sadie. What does Sadie want? Okay, well, being the Dutch is in the, uh, the picture here, I think I'm going to avoid that one. I want to do as many side missions and, uh, I guess trailing storylines as I can before we do the main story, because I don't want to pro progress the game too far. Uh, the fine art of conversation, something I don't have. Trelawney needs to speak to you. Oh, Trelawney. Anytime Trelawney's involved, it's always bound to be tons of fun. We can go fishing with the veteran. <laughs> the man that's missing a leg. Well, I'm not sure I want to do that. Uh, you know what? Let's go. Let's go do this one. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, we can blow up a bridge using explosives. Now that could be fun. I think let's go do that. Yeah. I saw a nice show. Arthur's uh, calm, happy, satisfied, and now the best way to express his happiness and delight with the world is to blow up a goddamn bridge. So uh, let's go do that. <laughs> Did somebody order a demo expert? Because uh, that is not me. I am good with killing things and blowing things up, but I am not an expert. I'm an expert at causing uncontrolled chaos, but I don't think that's exactly what you want. Howdy. Oh, a train. Now, can you ride the train in this game? That would be really cool if you could. Ah, oh, that is so neat. We'll have time for a train ride later. Uh, can we ride this? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm getting distracted. It's just, uh, trains are so much fun. Okay, what's happening? You got lots of dynamite, I see. Arthur, we are off doing? to a good start. Nervous? But, been nervous for a while. I had a lot of time to think in that jail and I feel like I just don't know Dutch no more. You ain't the only one. And this plan to get us out, it just feels... I don't know. Like How about not smoking know. next to the boxes of dynamite? There we go, they heard me. <laughs> Killing in cold blood, revenge. We all do bad things, but he seems to enjoy it now. It's like he just wants to create more enemies. More chaos. Yeah, I know. I mean, I love Dutch. <laughs> He saved me a long time ago. I feel like in Saint Denis, when I got arrested, maybe he could have done something. 
I feel like you should take your woman and child and get lost. Do you? You can... Uh, you could give something to Jack. It's that or... Well, I don't see no way out of this. But what about loyalty? Be loyal to what matters. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I'll be okay, but do it for me. It would make me feel good, if that makes any sense. A little, but... Listen to me. When the time comes, you gotta run and don't look back. This is over. And now? Now we gotta help Dutch give the army one final tweak on his nose. <laughs> yeah, come on. Help me with the rest of this. Mmm, <sighs> that's tough. He went from doubting to full on telling people to leave the gang. He has no confidence in Dutch whatsoever. I mean, we kind of knew that, but this well, confirms it. Looks it looks like we finally found our calling in life. Oh, okay, let's do it. Let's this thing out onto the bridge. There's a spot about a third of the way across where we can get down underneath and plant the charges. I've already set up the detonator. Sure, let's get this over with. You hear about Dutch and Cornwall? Oh, yeah. This is what I'm talking about. More enemies, more chaos. I mean, we're about to blow up a bridge for Christ's sake. Boy, I'm terrible at this. Good Lord. Also, I had the sticky keys prompt show up on my computer, which is annoying. I don't know why they they have this as shift. That's so stupid. There we go. All right. Woo! Don't look down, boys. It is a far drop. What if a train came by right now? That would be so embarrassing. And also very dangerous. Here's good. <sighs> we sure got a lot of this stuff. We'll we couldn't it. walk here? Really? I'll climb down there, you lower the crates. Alright. Let me know when you're ready. If I hear a choo-choo, I am running. You are on your own, just so you know. Are you getting the crate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give your boy a second. It's not like I've got some type of terrible disease or anything. No, no. Oh wait, I do? Ready when you are. Got it. I'm at the bottom of the ladder here to your left. Okay, you should be good there. Catch! Why are they doing this if they know? Let's get moving here, Arthur. All right, take it slow. That's not something we want to drop. That's it. Nearly there. Okay. Why are they doing this if they know that really Dutch doesn't have a plan? He's just insane. Like, why tag along with his ideas anymore? If it were me, I would just full on rebellion, a mutiny. Can you can you have a mutiny if you're not on a ship? Probably not, right? It's probably a different word for it. A revolution? No, that's not quite the same thing. I don't know. Point is, they should just basically. Take Dutch down. It's one guy. Well, him and Micah. Just I forgot about nice Micah. Time. He would be a problem. Nice and easy. I wonder if he'll actually leave, though, with his son and uh, his wife. Not All Arthur, right. but, you know, uh, John. Right. Come down here and help me plant this stuff. All right, man, whatever you say. Yeah, clearly they're not family anymore, especially after they shot Molly without even blinking. Okay. Grab yourself a bundle from the box. He talks about loyalty, but that's not how you treat family. You need to attach each of those bundles to the fuses. There's one on each of the main support beams. Okay. This is a lot of dynamite. God damn. So wait, I, I probably wasn't paying attention. I mean, I definitely wasn't paying attention, but why are we blowing the bridge up again? I mean, obviously this is something to do with uh, Cornwall, but why? And how is this going to help us get away from the law or go to paradise? It's not, that's the answer. You, you could see how when uh, Dutch realized that Arthur was losing faith in him, the first thing he did is replaced Arthur with Micah. Micah, as okay. if Micah's been the one there by his side the entire time. You okay to finish off down here? Sure, go on, I can handle the rest. I'll see you up there, just better work. Oh, sure, 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 sure. Uh, dynamite always works. Ask me how I know, because I use it, and it always blows people up. Like the Murphys, big time. That was fun, actually. Maybe I'm just as sick as Dutch. Oh my god. All right, last pillar to plant this on. Again, I'm not sure why we're doing this, but uh, I guess we'll find out. I mean, obviously, we're trying to take down the, the, the bridge, right? Hopefully, there's also a train on it. <laughs> I love to cause the maximum amount of destruction. 
And of course, no one's here guarding the bridge. No one's gonna ask us what we're doing. Fun times. Shit. I think I hear something coming, Arthur. Uh oh. Uh, maybe, uh, uh, can I jump off of here and survive? Probably not. Oh boy. Yep, right. here comes the train. Arthur, get up here quick. Oh boy. Oh boy. Now see if we had walked here, this would have been a lot easier, John, you lazy ass. Come on, quick. Oh, and I've got to do this again. Oh no. Oh, 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 oh. Boys, push harder. Oh, we are so dead. We are so dead. We are so dead. Oh my god. Ah. That looks like I'm gonna get my wish. We're gonna blow up a bridge with the train on it. Ah, and I'm not fast enough. They derailed us on our tiny little push cart. <laughs> ah, now see if we had just walked over there, it would have been so much simpler. I'm trying. Okay, boy. Wow, I am bad at this. What? What is our? Oh. Okay. Apparently, I don't know what I'm doing because I'm pressing the shift key as fast as possible. <clears throat> Give me a moment here. You guys know I, I have a problem. Okay, let's try this again. I had to disable my sticky keys option in Windows because it kept messing me up. I'm not sure why Rockstar made shift the, uh, the the way to move the cart. That was a terrible choice. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, now I should be able to get it. Oh, oh boy. There we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. Oh, this would be so scary. I would be shitting my pants. Well, actually, no, I wouldn't because I wouldn't be dumb enough to have uh, myself in this situation in the first place. Okay, that train was moving a lot slower, wasn't it? It just sped up. Thank you. No problem. They were trying to kill us. That just ain't how I want to die. Mm -mm. Well, that's no Let's fun. Let's blow this thing up. I wanted to blow it up with the train on the bridge. We should have just jumped off the very steep ledge. Oh, oh, there, there, there's not much water down there. Okay, never mind. Good choice with the hand cart. Mm-hmm. Oh, let me do it. Um, I think the line held. Okay, move. You want the honors? Oh, you already sure. know. If there's shit to be blown up, I'm going to be the one to do it. Fire in the hole. That doesn't really work here, but still, f fire in the bridge. I don't know. Let's make it go boom. Oh my God, that worked. Mining charges. Took the whole bridge down. Well, I guess old Dutch got all the smoke he wants. Let's hope so. You really think that that'll draw attention away from us? I guess we'll see. Not a chance. Tell the truth, I ain't even sure I fully understand Dutch's plan with all this. Like I said, John, when the time comes, you go. What about loyalty to, to everything? You've been loyal. I've been loyal. Look what that cost. You know, all that ever mattered to me was loyalty. It was all I knew. It's all I ever believed in. Well, not anymore, John. Soon, you gotta go. Go. Don't look back. I'll think about it. I've done a lot of thinking. Look at us. Out here risking our necks and for what exactly? For, for an idea that don't work no more. How you mean? You know just what I mean. You got a family. You need cash. You need to start building a life for yourself. Me? I need a vacation. And Dutch has all the money for safekeeping. He's got a point. You know something? Abigail thinks she might know where some of that money is. Well, you tell her she better make sure. And then come talk to me. And we'll find out just who and what we should be loyal to. Oh my God. I don't know, Arthur. Nor do I. But I'm seeing things a lot more clearly now. 
I wish things were different. But it weren't us who changed. Yeah! It looks like we have a full-on mutiny about to happen. Again, I'm not sure if you can have a mutiny if you're on land. To me, the word mutiny means you're on a ship and you overthrow your captain, but still, we're about to have a mutiny. Oh, damn. Okay. Aw, oh, poor Arthur, he's so sick. We just blew up a bridge to get the heat off of us. How is blowing up a bridge going to somehow magically get all of the police, all of the, uh, the, the, the bounty hunters off our back? Just magically. What? Everyone's going to just descend on this one bridge and be like, oh, I wonder how that happened. Couldn't be the Vanderlyn gang that's been around these parts as of lately. No, must be some new gang. Let's just forget about them. What? There's no plan. The reason Dutch sided with Micah so quickly and replaced us is because he just likes blind loyalty and chaos. That's all it is. We've lost too many good people. This is interesting. I wonder how Arthur, he, he seems so smart and so wise in a kind of simple way, if that makes any sense. How was he able to be swindled by Dutch for so long? I probably should get more of the backstory on this game before I actually started playing it, or I should have at least, but I didn't. But I think that maybe the way Dutch was able to uh, talk so many people into his ranks to be just fully loyal, to death even, was uh, because they didn't have much of anything. I mean, think about it. Arthur's been with the gang since he was a kid, right? That's what he said. Charles was an outcast. Everyone pretty much was an outcast. So maybe when they heard Dutch with his fancy words and talking about loyalty and family, they really felt a connection. They, they vibed with what he was saying, but unfortunately they, they, they just didn't realize he never had a plan. He likes to talk, but that's, that's pretty much it. Much like me. He says a lot of stuff, but doesn't actually say anything. You know what I'm saying? You probably don't. All right, well, we just blew up a bridge. We are, we're planning a mutiny. Things are getting quite spicy. Ah, and he's thinking a lot more clearly. Probably has to do with that show we went to, right? A vacation is exactly what uh, Arthur needs. After all, he's been doing all the work since the game started. Uh, what do we have here? Uh, hmm. Again, I don't want to do too many main story missions per episode because I feel like I'll progress the game too quickly and I'm having a lot of fun doing side mission stuff. You know what? Let's go talk to the veteran. The man with the missing leg and uh, maybe we can go catch some fish. Again, the most boring possible way to uh, spend your time. But uh, I guess uh, pre-Xbox and pre-PlayStation, it's probably all they had. So, uh, well, actually then again, we just came from a show. What am I saying? Go fishing or see someone breathe fire. Whatever, we'll go fishing. We gotta uh, make the old man happy. We don't have very many friends and we can't afford to pass up on any friends we could potentially make, even if they happen to be missing a leg. Get away. Ah. What? Anyone? Another stranger in need of help. Oh, it's another big wolf. Okay, well maybe this time the person will accept my uh, healing medication. Last time I tried to save a man and he uh, just slapped the bottle of healing tonic out of my hand. I am a terrible shot. Oh my, sir, you are bleeding out. And big time. Okay, uh, give healing cure, or health oh, cure rather. Please. Oh, calm down, it's only a small medicine. bite. Better you big crybaby. Damn it, that won't help. Look at me. What? It's, is this the same guy? Oh, what? Uh, can't. Can't. Stay. I can't move. I can't. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm just going to loot him then. That, again, that, that's on you. Did we already? I could have sworn we ran across a person that... Hmm. Maybe he has an entire family of morons that don't actually want help. I would think that whiskey couldn't help you if you've been bitten by a wild gray wolf, right? Uh, a health cure would do far more for your ailing wounds, right? But I, I guess not. Oh, that's not gonna help as he bleeds out. That's on you. I'm sorry, I tried to help. I tried to be a good person, but you you slapped the bottle out of my hands. That's what you get. That bottle of health cure or potion, whatever, not potion. I'm not a magical person. That tonic was expensive, so you deserve to die. Mm-hmm. And now I've got uh, two pelts, no, three pelts. I should probably go and donate these to the camp. Although with the way things are going, I'm not sure there's gonna be a camp left. At some point, I'm sure there's going to be a giant mutiny, a riot, a war, who knows? I wonder how many people are still loyal to Dutch. Charles is doubting him. 
obviously John's doubting him, Arthur's doubting him, or has been doubting the entire time. So I'm not sure that he has many people left on his side other than Micah, but of course, Micah would be on his side, right? Wherever there's chaos and insanity, you could find Micah. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Oh boy, here we are. Time to go fishing. Well, this is uh, gonna be loads of fun, I'm sure. About as much fun as going to a theater and seeing small people make bras disappear or uh, people breathing fire. Not even close. Hello? Where are you? My newfound friend, the war veteran. The man with the missing leg. Interesting, where is he? Oh, right, of course, go to the front door and knock. It's been so long since I've been civilized. Hamish, Arthur. Well, come in. You said we might go out fishing. Don't take much persuading to get me to go fishing. Let's go to my boat. Good. Here she is. You mind rowing? Sure. What are we fishing for? Yeah. Only one thing worth catching in this lake. The great tyrant. Oh. The, the mean the as white. hell northern pike. Uh. Eats everything else that spawns around here, its own kind included. Well, is that our bait then? A jack or something? Hell no. He's a clever old bastard. <laughs> I made these. This one's mine. You're gonna have to spare. They well, are that's pretty. awfully nice of you. You don't know the half of it. <laughs> Come on, let's push off. I'll show you where we're rowing to. Okay, this is kind of peaceful. No killing, no murder, no struggle with the law, just fishing for a crazy fish. Over there to the right. We'll set up 10 yards or so offshore. Sure, whatever you say. He don't keep far away from me, the tyrant. Wants me to know whose lake it is. He's Who's named the phantom boss? fish. <laughs> The optimism of youth. I couldn't even imagine being so deeply involved in fishing. You have a rival fish. Well, not a rival fish. That would mean you're a fish, right? But you have a fish that's been evading you. You've given it a name, <laughs> a legacy. That's that's so sad. You need right some here. stimulation, my man. Go to a show. Cast off towards the island. Okay. You got that lure I gave you? Get her out. Okay. Now, how is your lure any better than the uh, the, the bread I've got? <laughs> Spent years working on that. Finding the right combination of feathers, twine, and glimmer. Making them, losing them, getting them right. I tried coins, shell casings, even a metal. Finally found something he seems to like. And now I hear you can buy him in a shop. Well, it wouldn't be quite so satisfying. Getting him with something shop bought. Easy for you to say. <laughs> but maybe I'm inclined to agree. Mm, are you now? I mean, I like convenience. Imagine having to craft your own stuff. Way too much work. Okay, well, let's try and catch the tyrant. Come here, tyrant. I'm sorry, crazy man, but there is nothing in this water but tiny fish. Whoa, what's oh. this? Well, you got something? Ah, I got something, all right. <laughs> okay, uh, hey, all right. Hey, you need Come on now, tyrant, I got you. Wow, he is excited. Come on. You really do have quite a boring life, don't you? Imagine getting that excited because you catch a fish. <laughs> oh, he got away! Oh! Oh! How did you get over there? What? Okay, I'm inclined to believe there's actually a tyrant fish in the water. How did he pull you in that quickly? Are you fishing for sharks? Or a whale? Or the Loch Ness Monster? My God, he teleported over there. That is a rapid fish. God damn. I see you calm down. Careful not to lose that other leg. My man, what are you fishing for? Either you're two pounds, the lightest man on earth, or that is a big fish. Come on up, no, it's a shark. It's definitely a shark. He lied to me. That's how he lost his leg. <laughs> He's trying to catch a shark. You lost anything? It's <sighs> just my rod. <sighs> Would have gotten my toes too. They weren't wooden. <laughs> you want another go at him? I still got my lure. Nah. He's your fish now. Cast away. 
Uh, if I'm being honest, I really we'll don't want to. I'm kind of scared. I mean, if a fish is big enough and strong enough to pull it, an well, entire man I had to check twice. into the water. I a chunk of me missing. Man eating pie? That would be at first. I'm not so sure. Mm, I am sorry I ever doubted you, my man. I thought you were crazy and bored out of your mind. As it turns out, there's actually a tyrant fish in the water capable of pulling a man under. See, my okay, voice right here. quivered a little bit. Our it cracked. catching this bastard lie with you. All right, back all right. to where we were and make sure to use that lure I gave you. Yeah, 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 I got it, I got it. Hopefully this thing works. I had no idea that fish were attracted to, to, to lures with feathers on them. He said feathers, right? Honestly, who knows what this crazy crackhead's uh, cooking up. All right, come on, tyrant. You know you want to take oh. a Oh! You were too slow. Are you kidding me? I've never been slow a day in my life. Except for in school. Come on. Now reel a mic quicker. Come on. Oh. There we go. Real. Let's land the bastard. Okay, that's definitely not the same fish. Otherwise, oh, he would have pulled me under. Is this Start the fish? Reeling. Oh, we have the intense music. I think that might be the fish. Okay, either that. Either this man is weak and the lightest human on earth, or Arthur is just a superhuman. Because if that's the same fish, how in the hell did it pull him under? Oh, that's a strong fish. He's fighting you. Come on. Come on. Reel it in. I think you might be dumping tons of steroids in the water because this is not normal. This thing's got a will to live. Real while he's thrashing like that. Hey, don't yell at me. You're the one that got pulled under. Come on. Oh my goodness, look at him. He's got a lot of stamina. Yeah, that's right, buddy. That's right, tire yourself out. Go on and get nice and tired. We're gonna have ourselves a big, juicy filet. This may take a while. Apparently this fish is on steroids. Oh! Come on. Finally! That took forever! Here we go. And he clubs the fish. That fish was able to pull him under the water? I think your boat's starting to sink. No? Okay, we're fine. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? You caught him. I guess sorry that your life is boring uh, now. You don't have your, your rival fish. Legendary fish. I throw back. Wait, did we, did we get him? Did he get away? There's no way. That fish got away. Here, here. Oh, the holder. No, we got him. Okay. Ask me the tyrant. That is if you're sure you don't want him. Oh, I ain't gonna poach from your pond. Well, I'll give him his honors then. He sure was something, huh? Whew. <laughs> he was. <clears throat> mm, that is a Thanks nasty looking fish. Out. I appreciate the company. That's one hell of a fish. Ain't he something? <laughs> so long. Hey, you ever want to go out hunting? You stop by again. I may. Okay, all right. Hunting sounds like it'd be a little bit more fun than going <laughs> fishing for a tyrant. I'm still trying to figure out the math here. How is it that a fish about this big was able to pull an entire almost 200 pound man, plus or minus 50 pounds, he's missing a leg, into the water like that? So, something doesn't make sense here. I think he's feeding his fish steroids, yeah. This lake is full of steroids, which means if I take a bath in it, maybe I'll be jacked. Be the biggest guy in the West, right? No, no, that's not how that works, hmm. Okay, well, we went fishing. I'm not gonna lie, at first, I thought he was kind of crazy. He was in a war, lost a leg, who knows? Maybe he's making stuff up. But uh, no, when he got pulled under, I was like, okay, hold up. There's definitely a monster in this water. 
I'm a little disappointed though. That was a normal sized okay, fish. I mean, not really normal sized, but I was expecting like a shark, you know, or a whale, not something this big. Kind of depressing. Either way, I think that's uh, a good place to end it. We've gone fishing, we went to a show. Oh yeah, and then also blew up a bridge. And then possibly we're planning a mutiny or at least some type of like, I don't even know what to call it. Not a, not a revolution, but we're gonna turn the rest of the gang against Dutch, maybe, I'm not sure. And possibly steal the money. So uh, things are uh, getting quite spicy. So who knows how many people are still on Dutch's side. Obviously Micah will probably forever be loyal to whoever's the craziest, but uh, I really wonder who else is going to be uh, by Dutch's side when all this goes down. Or maybe nothing goes down. I have no idea. Guess we'll have to find out later. Hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, peace out.